Yeah, that's right. We had a couple of morning showers and some cloud cover, but that's pretty much faded out of the area. Most of the heavy rain now along the Gulf Coast. That'll be moving on to the southeast. Some drier air pushing in temporarily because this system right here is actually going to dive down and bring us another chance of rain as we go into your Friday. But enjoy the weather today, waking up to comfortable temperatures in the upper 50s, a nice breeze out of the north. Now I just walked outside. It feels great. Sunshine shining. Uh, really just a perfect Thursday for us. Greenwood at 58 and as for the rest of the region, 54 in Tunica, 58 in Greenwood, 59 down in Jackson, a little bit cooler into the Little Rock area. But overall, uh, temperatures are pretty much consistent across the entire Arkla Mist this morning. And there was that round of showers moved through between about 430 and 6. Didn't amount to much. It was just enough to wet the pavement. Heaviest rain has stayed well to our south and will continue to do so as we head through the later portions of the day. But you can kind of see that cloud cover just pushing out of the Delta. Still some clouds hanging around the South Delta, but the rest of us seeing some of that sunshine. And as for the rest of your Thursday, that's going to be the trend. It's going to be cooler mid to upper 60s, but again, nothing going on. Even the rain along the coast is going to move out. But again, it's going to be temporary because our next system starts to accelerate into Texas. And as we go into mid morning Friday, some showers start to return to the area, continuing through much of the day. It's going to be on and off, not going to be consistent you know, 12 to 18 hours of rain, but we will see breaks here and there. But the heaviest showers stay to the Gulf Coast, no severe threat. And as we go into early Saturday morning, the system starts to push off to the east and we clear out. And then we'll see some more of that sunshine back in the forecast just in time for your weekend. And the severe threat non-existent today. Not even going to see too many more clouds. A couple of chances for severe weather along the coast back into Texas, but we're A-OK. -okay. And really our severe threat over the next seven days. Pretty much non-existent, so definitely like to see that. And our next system going to bring us some more rain going into Saturday. Looks like we're going to see anywhere from about a half of an inch to maybe an inch at most of rain. So it will be pretty rainy, uh, not quite a soaker, but definitely want to have that umbrella and rain gear ready if you're heading out late Friday for any plans you might have coming up. So as for the Mississippi River, we're looking at 46.7 feet going to continue to fall further and further from that minor flood stage level as we head into next Tuesday. A trend we love to see this time of the year. And as for our high temperature trend, cooler than average. If you're looking for 80s, you're going to have to look elsewhere. We're going to be in the 60s through Sunday, finally rebounding into the 70s. And the overall pattern still favoring cool weather pretty much the entire Mississippi Basin and all the country trending cooler except for Florida. Who would have guessed that? That's crazy, right? But again, if you like the cooler springtime weather, might be a good forecast for you. Today it's going to be perfect if you ask me. Nearly 70, becoming sunny. Then the clouds return late as we go into the overnight. 53, clouds return. I could see some showers after 4 a.m. First part of the night going to be dry. And then tomorrow going to be a wet one. Periods of rain likely cloudy and cool though. Highs going to struggle to get out of the 50s tomorrow. Likely be our coolest daytime high of the month. And then we'll gradually rebound back into the 70s. But look at these weekend lows, potentially in the 40s. So don't put the jackets away just yet. It's going to wrap it up for your morning weather. Back to you, Woody.